right, y'all. We back on another one. Good old Monday here. Hope everybody had a good day. I had a pretty good day. Say hi to them. Hello. My little sidekick back there. Anyway, y'all, we're running down here to the Malta School today. Uh, Mr. Brian Bobbitt gave me a call a while ago. Said he didn't notice it till he, till he was leaving, but there's a little ball of bees up there. A little swarm at the school, so that's actually the third call I've gotten in the last 30 minutes. Well, first call and second uh, Facebook message. So we may be on two or three today, or this evening. Anyway, these he said it's not a very big call, and, or not a very big swarm, and he already called the uh, pest control people. Uh, uh, I just say this, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not knocking pest control companies or anything where we need them. They do a good job. Uh, but if you got some honeybees, just find your local beekeeper or myself and give us a shout. Because we know how to handle the bees and, and they don't have to be killed. Uh, most time they're not even they're not even aggressive or, or bothering anybody. They're just living their little lives. So if, if you if you see some bees, some honeybees, you know, give somebody a call. If they're not honeybees, you know, go ahead and call somebody else because we don't we really don't like messing with red walls for guinea walls for hornets or yellow jackets or anything like that. Anyway, we're pulling up on the school right here. Shout out to all the good people at Malta Baptist Church back there. Shout out to all the good teachers we got at the Malta School here. A lot of good folks here. We finna look at them right here. Oh. Uh, well, you got a gang of bees up there, I see. Yes, sir. They ain't that big, are they? Well, it's about half the size of a basketball. Yeah, that'd that be. Yeah, I could put I could put that thing in my shirt and take them home. Oh, yeah, you could. <laughs> There's a, another one just right directly underneath it on the ground. That's oh yeah. They're swarming there too. Yeah, they've been here a little while and they look cold and they look hungry. I'm gonna, I'll dump them in a box real quick. Case, okay, so grab that meat box out of my truck. Grab that little box out of my truck. Can deal with bees a lot? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of hives. Okay. Brian mm -hmm. said, I don't know what somebody's got. Yeah, yeah I got a whole bunch of them. That <laughs> that's the one that's really. I, mean, I thought it was. Well, Brian and I both thought it was a nest. I talked about an exterminator and he said, no, they're just resting. Yeah, what they doing? in the middle and they're just protecting her until they move on and right what they're doing is repopulating yeah is that they will not be aggressive or anything you know what do you call that box what is that what do you call the box this box right here is called a nucleus. This small is called a nucleus hive. Nucleus hive. They're swarming everywhere. Yes, ma'am. They're all in here around this queen. We'll give them. We'll give them a minute to run up on there real good. And I'll show you what the queen looks like. She's a lot As y'all can see, we got them shaking the box here. Yeah, we'll get on
Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he told me. He's like, I said, yes, sir. I'll call you. I saw that. I'm like, we'll be back when we find the queen. Oh, give us a shot. That's good. That's what me and my stepdad. Yes, ma'am. William's my son. Or my, my father. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You're going to have to back up. You're too close. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to back up. You're too close.